Hey, and welcome back to Clayfield. Today, we are going to spend some time at the teen center, which is here. As you can see, in this awesome sign, it says Clayfield Teen Center. This sign recolor was made by Emswun, that is M S W N, and she is a wonderful friend of mine, and I'm so grateful for this awesome gift. So, Ems, if you are watching this, thanks so much again. You are amazing. Okay, guys, so the Teen Center. This is um, one of the most interesting things in Clayfield and the idea of this center is not my own I can't take any credits from it I first uh, heard about this idea from another another simmer uh, Katya who is also known as A.N. Harrison on Life Journal and Dreamweb that is <laughs> sorry <laughs> brain fart. That's E-I-E-N underscore H-E-R-R-I-S-O-N I-N Harrison on Life Journal. She has a custom hood called Crestdale and she has a lot of interesting rules and re uh, regula regulations for her, her hood and I was very inspired by them. And if you are interested, you can check them out on her live journal and review it. Okay, anyway, so a little bit of background information about this institution. There is a live-in social worker living in here, just like the orphanage. And this... Sorry. This institution is part of the orphanage system in Clayfield. The social worker gets support from the city. His salary is 2,000 simoleons per week. And he also gets uh, an additional support, which is 400 simoleons per teen. And this sum is paid uh, once a week or once around in my game. If you are interested in uh, knowing more about these rules, that I'm using, you can check my live journal. There is a uh, BACC archive and rules link in the video description box below. So let's go in and see what the institution looks like. This uh, building is a makeover from one of the Maxis dorms. It's a huge lot, and there is um, room for nine teens and the social worker. And here you can see how the center looks like. This is the cafeteria. They also have a dog, who is very smelly at the moment. And this is one of the common areas in the center. All of these instruments were bought by the teens themselves from the ownable, uh, sorry, owned uh, businesses. And here's one teen already exercising. All the teens have their own rooms and these doors are um, from the uni EP. As you can see they also work on a regular um, residential lot. And this is another living room area. They have pretty much all the skilling uh, objects. And the 
library with computers and books. And bathrooms for the girls and for boys. <laughs> and there is one of the team boys already taking a pee pee. So we'll just leave him be. And they also have a very badly tended garden here. <laughs> uh, the teens are taking care of it or ignoring it. And here are so just some more bathrooms. And here is the social worker's room. And at the moment there are uh, six teens living in here. And tonight there are going to be two more. And so we are going to follow their lives for one sim day and we will see the new teens moving also. It's currently 7 a.m. on a Saturday and they should start to wake up. So let's just um, pause the game and see what happens. The teens living here at the moment are, uh, some of them are from the orphanage when they grew up there and others are towny teens. I have some towny teens, teens uh, here since I had to restart my neighborhood uh, a little while ago and yeah. Okay, let's continue. They don't have a um, dorm cook here, so most of the time the social worker will um, make all the food, or the teens will do that also. And here comes the social worker. I will introduce him now. His name is Damani. And he has a French last name, which I'm totally going to butcher right now. <laughs> I say that his last name is Le Cruz, but it's, um, if you go to 720, you can 
see his name right here. He's a sim made by one uh, simmer called Miss Essa. She's French too. And uh, this character has been in my game for some time. He started uh, as the companion of another playable sim. Uh, here, Mary Lena. They were in a relationship, but then they broke up. And they have a daughter called Ashtoreth. Um, just Ash. And Damani is already a grandfather of two uh, kids. Ash already has kids. And he also adopted one of the orphans, Rocky, several rounds ago. Rocky uh, grew up to a young adult just uh, yesterday in sim time. So he moved to the campus. And now Damani is about to become an elder in a few days, as you can see down here. And he will take care of the teens, at least until he grows up to an elder. And <laughs> this made me laugh. He desperately wants to go on a, on a vacation. It's not like um, watching a bunch of teenagers. It's hard. No, no, it's not. <laughs> so I'm, I'm definitely uh, going to send him on a vacation at some point. Actually, he is already um, one of the hacks I'm using. When I'm um, when our sims are growing to young adults, since I'm using the university in the main hood hacks by Squinch, if you are interested, you can find them on my resources page on Live Journal. Um, yeah, so this is um, one of the hacks, Squinch's famous young adult birthday cake and one of the teens just grew up and the cake is still there. trying to sponge bathe in the kitchen you know dear maybe you could just use the shower you know oh goodness so yeah this is pretty typical in my teen center all kinds of madness happening oh, naked butts in the kitchen and Someone singing really badly. This goes on all day long, every day. Okay, so where is the dog? Someone should give her a bath. Oh, she's sleeping. This is Allegra. She is a uh, Damani's dog. She's already an elder. And she's uh, really stinky.
Okay, breakfast time, guys. Goodness gracious. Dog. She's so cute. Mm. I love dogs in real life too. I'm actually currently in a process of um, adopting my second dog, and I love to see dogs in the game too. Pretty much. Um, Almost all of my have, uh, families in Clayfield have pets. Whoa! I can see another naked party there. These teens are just out of control sometimes. Okay, so what else is happening here? Nothing. I know what you are trying to do. Goodness. I actually, um, I turned the. <laughs> Oh dear, I knew I'm going to regret this. I turned the Teen Woohoo enabled um, a little while ago on ACR just to um, see if there is uh, some more drama, which always makes things interesting in the game. And it looks like these two are trying to get to the only double bed in the house. Which is just not going to happen. <laughs> so sorry guys, do something else. Alright, something... Um, more about the teens. If you are wondering, um, some of these teens are going to be playables. I will decide it based on what kind of characters they have. If they have some interesting uh, relationships going on, if they have some, some interesting traits. I am using the trait system uh, which Siri Sims has converted from the Sims 3. And yeah, it, it's um, it's very fun. It brings um, a lot of uh, interesting elements to the game, and I really recommend using it. It's fun. Anyway, so um, 
some of these teens are going to be playable and the rest of them are going to turn into uh, townies or dormies and I think I have a um, few of these who are going to be playables later on um, in this um, from these teens who are currently living here and the teens are requ uh, required to work most of these teens already have a job and they will work at the um, owned businesses like for example Anna here is working at the Memorial Hospital uh, in the gift shop and Jagger is working at the toy store and so on so um, they will um, look for a job and all their uh, money that they got, uh, receive from the work their salary I will use the Christian Love's um, wallet controller and add the money to their own accounts so they will later have the, all the money that they got from their job and I want to apologize if I sound a bit nasally I'm still recovering from a long long flu so sorry about that whoa sorry I forgot to uh, remove uh, remove my sensor um, hack, so sorry. I didn't need to show you any naked parts here. At least someone is having fun. She is actually the latest resident. She just um, moved in in last night. And she really is enjoying herself, apparently. So this is what usually happens in the team center. The teens are playing and skilling and making new friends or enemies. And they are of course trying to flirt with everyone here. Yeah, that's always a good uh, way to make new friends, right? <laughs> I don't think so. She really is taking everything out of this um, new life at the teen center. Crazy girl.
each of the teens have their own room. Like I said, they only have a very barely furnished room with a bed and a table and a desk. And they also have a pet here, whose name is Dummy. Okay, so it's about dinner time. And what will we have? I have a lot of custom foods here. And always the same problem, trying to decide which one to select now. Let's just have some salad. Are you staring at? I love the faces Sims make when they are playing with the Wombra. Oh no, bad luck! Yeah, the money only has two days left as an adult. So let's see, it's uh, 6 p.m. and it's time to move in some new teens. Just a second, I will check who they are. This is how I do this. I just use the lazy way. I use the sim blender to teleport. First one is Hanako, who we met at the orphanage. She grew up to a teen. And the second one is one of the uh, one of the towny teens. And then I will just move them in. And now, first we take Hanako and let her select a room, like this one, and claim her desk.
and next one is Mary who is really going to need some new clothes it's already uh, winter in Clayfield and let's see let's let her move in here And after they have uh, claimed their rooms, they are going to socialize with the other teens and the social worker. But you, my dear, really need some new clothes. you go here and it's time for Damani to welcome her in and now some new clothes let's see So this is how the teen center basically works in my game. I hope you have been enjoying what you have seen. Just a little tour. And sometimes uh, there are some really interesting things happening and some teen drama of course since they are flirting right and left but yeah mostly it's like um, listening to a very bad concert where no one can uh, no one can sing and no one can play well and they are fighting and they are hanging out and flirting and trying to woohoo in the social workers bed pretty much the regular teen life, right? <laughs> okay. So, I think we will end here. When everyone is pretty much alive still. And I want to thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>